Greetings from MSS Inc. Welcome to Managing Projects in Primavera P6. This is a continuation of lesson number three, Navigation and Layouts. In this video, we're going to start to discuss layouts in more detail. In our previous lesson, we opened up a project and we're currently in the Activities window. First, I'd like to show you how you know what layout you are currently viewing. If I go directly above the activity table, I can see it says layout, and I can see that the current layout we're viewing is the classic layout. Layouts are customizable views of information, combining all of the elements that appear on the screen. In the activities window, you have various options for what you can display on the top portion of the layout and the bottom portion. Let's look at how you can quickly change the top layout and or the bottom layout. If I go to my layout options bar, I can scroll down and view those items which I can quickly show on the top layout. That includes activity table, Gantt chart, activity usage spreadsheet, and the activity network. I can also change what's shown on the bottom. First of all, I can say I don't even want to see a bottom layout but then I can select from Activity Details, Table, Gantt Chart, various spreadsheets and profiles. Before we go into those details, let's first learn how you open an existing layout. When I want to open a layout, I go to my Layout Options bar, I'll select Layout, and then select Open. I'm now in my Open Layout dialog box and can see a list of the layouts that are available. I'm going to highlight a layout called Analyzing the Budget and discuss the differences between the word Open and Apply. I'm going to click Apply. In the background, I can see that my layout is displayed, but the Open Layout dialog box remains open. This is useful if you want to preview the layout but not shut the dialog box down. I'm now going to highlight Classic WBS Layout and click Open. When you select Open, the layout is displayed, but the Open Layout dialog box closes. Okay, let's begin to discuss the options for what you can display on the top layout. So I'll go to my Layout Options bar, Show on Top, and the first option that we'll select is the Gantt chart view. The Gantt chart view consists of the activity table on the left, which displays your activity information in columns, and the bar area or Gantt chart area on the right, which is a graphical display of activity progress over the duration of the project. Once again, that's the Gantt chart view. I'm going to go back to my layout options bar, show on top, and view the Activity Usage Spreadsheet. Additionally, I'm going to get rid of the bottom layout, so I'll go back to my Layout Options bar, Show on Bottom, and indicate that I do not want to display a bottom layout. The Activity Usage Spreadsheet displays unit cost or earned value data by activity over time. You can use this type of a layout to review per period and rolled up activity, resource, and cost data. If I point to the major time scale, you can see my mouse becomes a pointer. I can then click and drag and use it as a scroll bar. If I point to a minor time scale element, in this instance the week, my mouse becomes a magnifying glass. I can then click and expand and contract the width of the cell. When I look to the left of the time scale, I can see what data is currently displayed in those cells. In this instance, it's remaining labor units. What I'm able to see for each activity are the re remaining labor units by time period, and I can see that that data rolls up through the various grouping bands, which in this layout represent my work breakdown structure. This is my activity usage spreadsheet. Let's go back to our Layout Options bar, Show on Top, and let's take a look at the Activity Network. The Activity Network lets you view relationships be between activities to help you better understand the logic that's been built into this project. 
The left side of the window displays my WBS or Work Breakdown Structure hierarchy, and the right hand side displays the activities for the currently selected WBS element. I can use the zoom in and zoom out buttons on my toolbar to magnify, or I can depress the Alt key on my keyboard and click and drag my mouse to selectively magnify. Once again, the purpose of this layout is to display the logic or the relationships between your activities. In a subsequent lesson, we'll actually learn how you can use this view to draw the relationships. The fourth option for displaying on the top layout is the activity table. So I'll go to my layout options bar, show on top, and I'm going to select my activity table. This view lets me view my activity information in spreadsheet format. In our next video, we'll learn the various options for modifying our view.